And now a one minute review of Lost Ark. Ready? Go. People have struggled to explain the game to me as an odd, beautiful hybrid ARPG MMO when really all they need to say is Korean Diablo. The story is that you have to go search for a powerful artifact because blah blah blah. It's hard to pay attention between all the cutscenes containing dangerously attractive anime women and men. The playable classes are cool. Options include whacking people with a sword twice as big as your body, singing to people aggressively, and being a backflippy yeehaw cowgirl whose black leather outfit is so tight it would make characters from The Matrix blush. Some options are sex locked, which is dumb. If I want to play a badass big tittied paladin, that should be my god given right. Questing is straightforward and repetitive, but it somehow doesn't matter because as long as I can run into a group of 20 creatures and free the beast on all of them with more powers than a magical Swiss army knife, I'm a happy guy. I can mash people into a bloody pace for hours before remembering that maybe I should open up my inventory and actually take a look at what I've picked up once in a while. I hoped my animal companion would fly around gnawing people, only to sadly learn that his only job in life is to run around acting as my designated loot bitch. Although I'll soon get dragged away by Big Moth Mommy in D2, I wouldn't mind dumping a lot of hours into Lost Ark, which all in all ain't too bad for a free-to-play game. Now let me make my shoulders even bigger. And there, a completely thorough and undebatable review of Lost Ark. You're welcome.